The Asian Championships start in a couple of days and I have the start list, so let's go through it. Most countries are in fact sending their A teams to these championships with as many as, you know, two Olympic champions in a single team. The largest teams going to this competition include China, Indonesia, India, Iran, Kazakhstan, Saudi Arabia, Turkmenistan, Taipei, and Uzbekistan. Of these teams, we have multiple Olympic champions, world champions at the senior and junior level, and world record holders. Also, if the quality of this video seems better, it's because we finally bought a new camera and it was not cheap. Uh, so hopefully it makes a difference in the training halls and that sort of stuff. So, you know, this is good. So I've got the start list up here uh, on this other screen. So I'm going to go through this and just talk a little bit about who's competing, who I think is going to win and all of that sort of stuff. Okay, so this is the first athlete I want to talk about. It's the Chinese 49 kilo lifter Wang Jiali. And we don't know a huge amount about her, except for the fact that she has actually snatched 95 kilos in competition. It was a national competition, but even so, that's a normal lift. She also did it at the age of just 19. This was about six months ago, so presumably she's improved to some degree since. The world record is from a teammate, Hu Zihui, uh, at 96 kilos. So she's a kilo under that as a young teenager. So, I don't know, I think that's assault one on a world record that we're going to see at these Asian champs. She actually catches that bar, like she she doesn't really like fixate and put much upward pressure into that barbell as she's coming down under it. It's literally like she's just falling down under the bar and then she just uses that extreme uh, hip mobility to just take the weight of the bar. Um, that's ridiculous. The 55 kilo women is also probably one of the one of the sessions I'm most excited about because of the battle. Whether we see world records or not, I think we will actually. I think there's one of the Chinese athletes that's going to set a world record, but I don't know. But it's the battle. So we've got Zulfia Chinchanlo from Kazakhstan. Then she's going up against two Chinese athletes, Long Shui and Yu Ling Long. So some of you guys might remember Zulfia Chinchanlo. She was the Olympic champion in 2012, then she got pop. She's the 2000, and, I want to say, 9, 11, and 14 world champion, which she still holds those records. Um, and then she. She competed in Tokyo last year and she took the bronze medal. That's what happened behind uh, Lao Chi Yong, uh, Lao Chi Yun, and Heidelin Diaz in that epic battle. So, anyway, she is competing and she's going against these two Chinese lifters. Now, what's interesting here is the fact that supposedly Zulfia Chin Chanlo was born in China and then on a loan moved to. Uh, Kazakhstan where she competed and then in 2012 had to return to China and China said she was returning to join the Chinese national team because she's Chinese and her dad's Chinese blah 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 Kazakhstan and she said this is not true my dad's from Almaty or Astana one of the Kazakh cities and I'm Kazakh and so she and she was like the only reason I went back to China was to see other family something like that so the two countries still disagree as to whether Zulfia Chinchano is Kazakh or Chinese, but she's going to be competing against these two Chinese lifters. And these lifters are good. So look, here's Yu Leng Long uh, with a 100 kilo snatch. Now the world record in the snatch is 102 by Li Ajun. Uh, and again, this is uh, two years and 10 days old, basically, uh, this lift. So she's improved substantially since. Let's just look at this 100. Yeah, and it didn't even look like that was too maximal for her. So I think we're going to see a world record in the snatch from her. And then in the clean and jerk, here we have uh, Long Shui, who this lift here, this is a 125 opener. Now, the world record is 129 uh, by Lao Chi Yun. So the fact that she was opening here and then she actually took attempts at a two kilo world record, 131. She's a squat jerker too. We don't see many Chinese squat jerkers on the women's side. So... I'm extremely excited by this 55 kilo session between these three incredible athletes. Okay, now we don't have time to go through every category. Just a quick one, 59 kilo. This is, again, this is another Chinese athlete. I, I don't want to just go through Team China, obviously, but they're sending a strong team. So uh, Pei Jin Yi, she's put in a 225 kilo entry total. The world record in these categories are probably untouchable because we've got Kuo Sung Chun with 110 and 140. But this is when she was 16. This was basically just under a year ago, and it made her get selected for that national team. She snatched 98 at 16. So she's now 17. A lot of progress happens between the ages of 16 and 17. So I think we could see her being going sort of like over 100 kilos uh, in the snatch, certainly. Uh, who's she going up against? I think she should have a good... So a couple of Vietnamese lifters, T. Diane Hoang and T. Tam Quang from Vietnam. I don't know them. 
then there are some Indonesian lifters who are looking very strong at the moment. We'll go through some of them later, uh, particularly on the men's side. So, okay, that's 59s. 64s, again, we'll just whip through this one quickly. We've got Ti Tong Tan Pham from Vietnam. That was the first time, by the way. Uh, and we have Chontavin Thipfara, first time. Could have been wrong. Uh, and here we go. Alfia Ramadani Sabitha, first time. Um, I don't know much about these lifters, honestly. Um, but even so, it'll be good to see how they all do. 71s, again, it's kind of unknown lifters. We've got Yang... Sh Yang Shui Shua, Kui Shui Shua from China put in a 240 kilo total, which is pretty big. I mean, the world record is Zhang Wang Li at 267, so it's not that big, but it's big. Uh, and then she's going to be going up against uh, Chen Wenhui, who I'm excited to see. She's the uh, athlete who took the silver medal, I think, at the World Championships. Uh, we filmed her on that first day in the training hall, clean and jerking somewhere over like 125-ish, snatching like 100 kilos. She's a very good lifter. Certainly, in my opinion, sort of the most, the second most exciting lifter from Taiwan uh, after Kuo Sung Chun, of course. So uh, good to see her return into competition also. And then in the 76s, this is where I get excited again, and it's another Chinese lifter. Um, and it's a Chinese lifter that you might know if you've been following at least a national scene. It's uh, Peng Kui Ting. So she's a young athlete who as a 71 and as a 76 has set unofficial world records we're going to take a look at them now so the world record in this 71 kilo category see how easy that is she's just like built to pull she's a very long limbed athlete uh the world record there is 117 kilos and it hasn't actually been hit yet uh that's the world standard it's a non-olympic category so no one's pushed it uh 117 so that was her opener she then bumps up to... Okay, well, she does hit 123. I just can't find the video. Let's look at the 125. This is another unofficial world record. So the world record 124 by North Korea's Rim Jong Sim. North Korea not coming to these championships. Uh, and then she hit this, uh, again, as a teenager, 125 kilos. Very slow, sort of passing through the knees and then just so explosive beyond that. Little jump back. And she's just full of passion. She's like a... She's more of a, a Shizu Yong rather than a Deng Wei, if you know what I mean, in terms of reaction and excitement. So that's really cool to see. I think she's going to do some big lifts. She's not a bad clean and jerk as well. Here's a 138 kilo lift from about six months ago. So they're talking about here her competing at 71. I wonder if she did these at 71. So that's Peng Kui Teng. That's the uh, 76s. Okay, here's a nice 113 kilo power snatch from Wan Yu, who's <laughs> going to be competing... Um, at the 81s at uh, this competition. And realistically, I don't think anyone's going to be able to push her. There's a Kazakh lifter, Alma over Aisha, but um, I don't think it's happening. Okay, like I said, these are just these are just highlights at this point. Um, let's go into the men's. Now, I, I do want to mention quickly, the, this is kind of historic that so we can watch these Asian championships. And it's worth mentioning, I'm assuming you guys know at this point, that the whole of the Asian championships is being broadcasted through Weightlifting House. That's the only way you can get it, and you get English commentary. That's never been done before. That's only able to happen because of the tremendous amount of work that we've all put in here in the office uh, with contracts, phone calls, Zoom calls, uh, emails, just an absurd amount of work to secure the rights to do this. So this sort of stuff doesn't happen easily. It doesn't happen for free. Um, and so, yeah, the better our turnout for this, the more likely it is that we can do this sort of thing again. So the link's down below. It's a $15 pay-per-view, which I don't think is too much. I think that's actually on the lower end of what people would normally charge for this sort of thing. And I think it's reasonable. That basically gives you every session, all 10 A sessions, um, live and on demand. So all 10, all 20 A sessions, 10 men's, 10 women's, live and on demand. So you can watch it live or you can, you know, watch it the next day or the next week or two weeks later if you want to. Uh, we'll have them available for a couple of weeks after the competition. Um, and you get the commentary from me and Max. And there's like six of us flying out there to put on this show so that's a lot. It's a lot of costs. Um, so hopefully we get an incredible turnout from you guys and we suddenly realize, okay, this is something that we can invest into doing more of. We can secure more contracts and that sort of stuff. But um, Europeans worked well. This we put a lot more time and energy and money into. Uh, so we want it to work weller. Um, and then hopefully uh, we can do worlds and it will work wellest or something like that. So yeah, if you're interested, I'll put a link to that down below and it would be very cool to have you there. Let's take a look at the stuff on the men's side. Okay, 55s. Uh, I don't know some of these lifters. My boy Mansour Al-Saleem from Saudi Arabia, he's going to be there. 
And so is our boy Ali Chompney, who has the most bizarre proportions you've ever seen in a normal person. But for weightlifters, they seem to work quite well. I'm actually looking forward to this session. Uh, I don't know the two top lifters there, Jiatan Lai and Albakachi Ali from Vietnam and Iraq. But certainly Mansour versus Ali, I'm, I'm going to be all over that, so I'm looking forward to that one. Then in the 61 kilo category, this is where we've got a pretty crazy battle. So two Chinese lifters, we have Hei Weiji, who some of you will remember, and we have Jia Jianghui, who none of you will remember, probably. And then we also have Eko Yuli Irwan. So Eko Yuli Irwan is a three-time Olympic medalist, never won, but always been up there. He's a world record holder in the clean and jerk in this category at 174. Um, and he's historically, at least over the last few years, been battling against China's Li Farbin. Li Farbin's not going to be there, but these other two Chinese lifters are, and they're pretty damn good. Let's take a little look at some of the things that these two athletes have done. So Jia Jianghui, 61. Here's a video of him snatching 147, which is two kilos over the world record. He did this in a national competition. The world record is 145 by Li Farbin. Although I think Leaf Arbin just hit 146 in a national competition as well, but not as much as this guy. So this guy's got an unbelievable snatch. We might see a snatch world record here if he's able to pull off something like this. And when was this? Uh, this was, again, this was over a year ago. So assuming he's had some level of progress and he was a 61 when he did this, this is very exciting. We might see a world record. And then there's this guy. Who remembers this guy? Because I certainly do. I was so excited when I saw his name on the start list. So uh, Yueji Hei, 61 kilo lifter. He's also snatched over the world record. Uh, this is in training, uh, 146 kilos. There are other videos of him hitting big lifts. He's a bit of a, um, a swaggy McSwaggerson, if you will, <laughs> as you can see uh, on the men's side. Uh, 146 here. He's done some pretty big clean and jerks as well. Uh, he's 18 years old. Favorite lifter, apparently, Lao Hui. Who isn't Lao Hui? Well, who? Wait, what am I saying? Whose favorite lifter isn't Lao Hui? That's what I'm saying. That might have been a press out on his left arm. Um, but anyway, we're excited to see him. So that 61 kilo category with these two who are hungry to make this A team uh, on the Chinese side, uh, it's very exciting to be going up against Echo Yuli Irwan, epic. And where's my Saudi boy as well? There he is, Siraj Al Salim. He's also there. I'm just hoping to get a Saudi tracksuit. That's all that's going on here. 67. So this is the home of you know like the Chen Lijun, uh Pak Jongju uh, from North Korea, who we've not seen since 2019. This is that kind of category. Uh, and who do we have? Chen Jian. I don't know who that is. Chen Jian. <laughs> All right. The IWF is keeping their cards very close to their chest. Okay, so he competed as a 56 at the 2017 Youth World Championships. Then there's Mohamed Yassin. Okay, so he's a two-time Asian junior medalist. Let's take a look then at the 73. Oh, actually, here's something. Uh, Dostin Yakubov from Uzbekistan, he is competing at 67. And we spoke to him. We've actually done interviews with, coming up to half, have replied to our interview questions about how their training's been going, the best lifts, injuries, uh, what they've been focusing on, that sort of stuff. So we've got a lot of really interesting material to go through during these commentary sessions. Dostin was one of the people who replied, uh, Yakubov, and he told us that his best clean and jerk this year so far is 180 kilos which at 67 is pretty damn big because the world record is 188 um, and he's done 180 and then I, he sent a video of it and it looked easy. It didn't look like a true max lift. So I'm excited for Dustin. He is also the world champion, right? So that's cool to see. Okay, up to the 73s. This again is where I'm extremely excited. We have two Chinese lifters going up against our boy Rizki Jinyansir. So a lot of you will have seen my video on Rizki, whether that was on uh, Instagram or YouTube. He is gunning for that world record in the cleaner jerk. He hit 200 kilos in training. She's the holds world record at 198 for those who don't know. Rizki hit 200 very comfortably. Like, easier. I, th I think he makes it look easier than she's young. I don't think he's as strong as she's young. I think she could out-clean him and out-jerk him separately. But just put together, it looked great. I know she's young, son, 206. I'm well aware of this. Um, but... The 200 was great, and he's tried 1-9 in competition but couldn't do it, and that was when he was like seven, uh, 18, very young. He's now just turned 19, I think. Um, so I'm really excited to see how Rizki does. The thing that's going to hold him back is a snatch, but also he just hit 160 in training, and that looked incredibly easy too. So let's take a look at Jiang Xu Lin, who's one of the first Chinese weightlifters. This is the guy who some of you might remember. 
I think I mentioned this when it happened, that he has, according to Liu Zhou and Barbell, arguably one of the strongest squats in Team China. So this is 240 kilos at 70 kilos in body weight, uh, which is like th- not far off three and a half times body weight front squat. So that's not um, bad. So 67 kilo lifter, he's uh, 73, sorry. He's going to be hopefully pretty good in the clean and jerk, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, and then there's Peng Zhang Lin. Not bad, eh? So that's going to be fun. Whether or not he's going to be able to keep him to keep up with uh, Risky Jin Sia, I don't know. But I'm pretty excited about that. And then over to the 81 kilo category. Uh, we don't have Lu Shashun. We don't have Li Dai Yin. We do have Lu Dai Lin, which I'm so thrilled about because it's about time. I've been talking about this guy for so long. In fact, I went back on his Instagram the other day, uh, which I'm going to pull up right now. And I was going all the way through back his lifts because I knew that I'd been reporting on him for a while in competition. Uh, on the Weightlifting House News Show. Uh, here's a 173 while we're just talking. And I found lifts from like 110 weeks ago that had me commenting on like my boy or something like that. Um, and so finally he's going to make his first international competition, his international debut, and you know that he's going for that world record. So a quick reminder, he snatched 190 kilos off blocks. The world record is 175. Uh, he snatched 180 in competition, national, at 81, that's five kilos over the world record. He has beaten Liu Zhaozhen in the snatching competition, 171 versus 170. Uh, and he can clean and jerk, okay. I say okay, it's bloody good, 200 kilos um, in training. Probably more like, you know, mid 90s, maybe in competition. So I expect Liu Deilin to win, but if there's a big clean and jerk who suddenly appears at this competition, I don't know. But I'm thrilled for Liu Deilin for him to finally get that Olympic debut. Uh, got a Kazakh lifter I don't know. Baldarbakov, Renat, uh, but then we've also got Owen Abdullah Rahmat. So he is the Indonesian. He he won. He's a world champion at seventy three. He's the guy who did. I th- did he do a backflip? He did, he did a little guns show when he won. Um, oh, and he did like a little, like side, chest thing. Uh, he did a little pose down. Uh, he's great. He clearly jerked in the nineties. As a 73, now he's an 81, so he might push towards 200. And he's gone up because Rizki's so good at 73. Uh, they've got to put Rizki there. So Rahmat's going to be here at 81. So Rahmat's put in a low entry total at 330, but these entry totals might change. Um, so that's going to be exciting to see how he does. Up to the 89s. Now, surprisingly, this is not going to be the most... There'll be some good lifters, but it's not going to be quite like it was at the European Champs. There's no Carlos or Nino star lifter here. Um, Tian Tao is not competing down at 89. Um, Li Dai is not coming in at 89. So, uh, yeah, for now, this isn't going to be the craziest session. We've got Kazakhs, we've got Turkmenistan lifters, Iranians. Should still be a good session. Um, we've got Zafarjanov, but it's not going to be the session of the competition. The 96s, however, certainly is going to be a little bit more interesting. We have our guy, Lesman Paredes previously of Colombia, now competes for Bahrain. Uh, he's a snatch world record holder at 187. He even tried that 190 and he wasn't far off it. And despite having had an injury and maybe surgery early in 2022, he's actually in pretty good shape right now. Video just went up the other day of him snatch, strict pressing one, I think he strict pressed 117 for reps. He was snatching 140 for triples very easily. I think he posted a 170 snatch as well. So he's in pretty good shape right now. Uh, and then he's going to be going up against the fridge lifter himself, uh, Artyom Antropov from Kazakhstan, who's put in 380, um, who last year at the Asian Championships cleaned either 228 or 229 and then missed a jerk. But that's a massive lift. So realistically, Lesman's going to beat him in the snatch. And then Artyom's going to have to hit as big a clean jerk as possible. That's going to be fun. From Taiwan, we've got uh, Chen Pojen, who's also thickest quads in the game um he's going to be he could snatch 180 he went to the olympics he could snatch 180 um which is going to put him right in between probably lesman and and uh Artyom. and then clean and jerk i don't know i just don't know 210 205 215 i have no idea what he's going to clean and jerk so it's going to be a very fun session we've also got our boy nagisa adila tully from kazakhstan who i've been waiting to compete at 96 for ages he was an 89 last year he basically should have beaten um 
you know, he's one of my favourite lifters ever. Um, but he probably should have beaten Rostami. I think Rostami got given a bit of a press out. Or No, no, that was it. It was Nagisa got denied a lift that was a little pressy. Um, but he's young and he's fun. Uh, and he's got a great... He's, he's a 180 snatcher as well. So that session's going to be good. Um, from around, we've got Chatre Masood, who I had a phone call with in 2018 for like two hours once. We just spoke about the Iranian training system. So I'm looking forward to seeing him as well. It's been a while since he's been in international competition. And that's a 96. 102 is, again, another session that I'm just buzzing about. We've got Olympic champion Miso Hasona, uh, and he's going up against world champion world champion uh, Rezal Motomedi from Iran. So you guys might remember that video I posted on YouTube the other day, the battle at 102, and it was um, our boy Jinin Song going up against Rezal Motomedi, and Rezal Motomedi won. So Rezal's hit some really big lifts in competition. He's clean jerked as much as 227 kilos. Mises done 228, um, and he's also done 232 in training, which is massive. They both got 180-ish snatches, so those two going head-to-head. Miso's moved up, Rezal's sort of come down because he's occasionally a 109. They're meeting in the middle at this new Olympic 102 kilo category, which is going to be such a fun competition. So it's Miso versus Russell Motomedi. There are other strong people there. There's Reza Didar from Iran. Uh, there's uh, Rakat Bek, uh, Bek Bolat from Kazakhstan. There's Razul Bekov Bek Dulat from Kyrgyzstan. Solid session. And then the 109s, also a good session because we've got 2060 Olympic champion, the clean and jerk world record holder himself, Ruslan Norudinov, uh, 241 kilo world record holder. He beat Akbar Jiraev at last year's Asian Championships. Then he didn't go to the Olympic Games because he didn't he wasn't able to compete throughout the whole of the um, qualification period. So Akbar Jiraev went and won. And then they both met the World Championships and he tried a world record 242 to, to get ahead. Not to get ahead, to get the goal in a world record. He was too far behind the snatch and he couldn't make it. But it was close. He cleaned it, almost jerked it. And now he returns. He doesn't have to go up against his boy um, because, Ab- not Abhijayev, Akbar Jiraev is moving up to the super heavyweight category. So hopefully Ruslan Nuridinov is going to have a clear shot hitting some big lifts. Oh, we've got the return of Ibrahim Bersanov as well. Bersanov probably from Kazakhstan. So that should be good. Uh, and then the super heavyweight category is turning out to be one of the most exciting sessions. Uh, the reason being, we have two athletes that we're not used to seeing at this competition. The first is Gormanassian, used to be Armenian. Second, holder of the second, not the second heaviest snatch, seven, second best snatcher for a heavy person. What am I trying to say? Only one person's ever outsnatched him, and that's Lasher. And Lash has done it multiple times. But other than that, throughout history, no one's ever done it. He snatched 216, which is the same as Antonio Krastev, who did it in 87. And Salimi, who did it in 2017. And then it's Gore. And then Lash is above. And then everyone else is below. And he's now Bahraini. So he's competing, uh, which is kind of nice for him because I feel like he's n- never going to win the European Championships. But he could win the Asian Champs. But people are going to try and stop him. One of the people who's going to try and stop him is Ali Davoudi, junior world record holder in the snatch. He snatched over 200 kilos. Uh, we haven't seen him compete in since Tokyo. He medaled in Tokyo, didn't he? Pretty sure he medaled in Tokyo. Uh, in fact, did Ali Davoudi... He got the silver, I think. Because obviously Gormanassian couldn't go because they could only send one Armenian, isn't that right? And they sent Simon Motorosian. Okay, let's just check this very quickly. Tokyo, 109 plus, silver medal, Ali Davoudi. So we haven't seen Ali Davoudi since then, and he's back. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, Hodra Mohamed Choichev's there, Mohsen Dadrasal from Iran. But then also the guy I'm probably most excited about, Akbar Jiraev, uh, the world champion, Olympic champion in the weight category below. Can you gain 20 kilos in body weight and still be the best? We're going to find out. I think on a phenomenal day the best we're going to see from Akbar is and I mean fun, if everything goes right we're going to see a 205 250 now if everything goes right for Gore we're going to see a 213 245 Akbar can out clean and jerk Gore I think I think Gore's only ever done 248 so I think Akbar could beat Gore but then there's then there's Ali Davoudi. And if, if someone said to me, oh, by the way, Ali Davoudi is going to go 
205, 245. I'd also believe that. So I think it's going to be a tight battle between those three. Uh, and of course, Mohsen Dadrasal from Iran is strong. Toychev is strong. So it's going to be it's going to be a big session. Oh, I will also say because we've got to the end, um, we have the official T-shirt for the Asian Championships, which is pretty sick. Because the Asian Championships logo, it's got Weightlifting House logo on it. Also, uh, I'll put a link to that down below. Um, but most importantly, go get your tickets. It's October eighth through to the sixteenth. The actual layout of the event is going to be crazy. It's sort of on the level of. Um, it's kind of like Ashgabat 2018, um, Batumi 19, was it 19? Batumi 19, in terms of like how good this, the stage and everything is, we've got a ton of cameras, we've got a bunch of us operating, we've got so much material to get through, just like our media pack is insane. You actually buy the media pack, by the way, it's $5, it's super cheap, and it's all of the information that Max and I will have uh, about these athletes that we do the commentary off. So if you want to get all of that, plus a little bit of a write-up from me about what these Asian championships are and what's who to look out for, who to keep an eye on, what to expect, that sort of stuff, then you can get that as a little add-on when you get your tickets for Asian champs. It's October 8th through 16th. Every single session is available live and on demand. We're going to be vlogging it as well for YouTube. I'm going to be dead by the end. I'm going to be absolutely exhausted, but I'm fortunately got... Uh, yeah, like I said, there are six of us, so I'm going to have as much help as possible. From Everyone's going to be working on overtime. Um, everyone's going to be working overtime, but I'm certainly going to be tired. So... I can't wait. I'm so thrilled to be going. And we've got the new camera. Um, everything is very exciting for this competition. So anyway, if you're interested, the link is down below. The first session starts on Saturday, but get your tickets early um, because that helps us feel less stressed about whether people are going to come and get this pay-per-view. It's $15. It's super cheap. And that gives you nine days of action. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys all on another episode of Weightlifting Predictions with Seb. <laughs>